About 30 crores of rupees have been spent exclusively for establishing the research facilities, that is establishment of center of excellences, research centers, in order to inculcate the culture of research among students and faculty community. In our new PhD regulations, a provision is given for all the B.Tech students you, to join into PhD program directly with scholarships. All BTEC students, please listen this word. You can join for PhD program directly from the BTEC itself with scholarship. Only the requirement from our side is you need to work out one or two research problems during your uh, graduation in Vijnansi University. Today, Look at the major cities in the country, be it Hyderabad, Bengaluru, Bombay, Delhi. Come monsoon, the southwest monsoon, the city is sinking. Why? Why this is happening? We, the engineers, the teachers who are teaching engineering education, the practicing engineers and the students who are budding engineers should look at this kind of projects, this kind of problems, and find solution. That is the biggest tribute we can give it to Sir Mokshagana Bisweseraya. No wonder this university has started in the third year itself societal centric projects. What does it mean? Projects which should benefit the common man. It should be affordable. It should be easy to operate. That is the kind of projects the students have been inculcated right from third year in this university so that they will understand the problems of the society and come up with a plausible solution which could be nurtured further. I think if the budding engineers could take this societal-centric projects in the, in the correct way, the sincere way, I think that is the biggest gift we are giving to the greatest Indian civil engineer, Sir Moksha Gandam Vikseswaraya. It is a Great pleasure to be on this occasion of Saram Vishweshwaraya's day or the engineer's day to be here amidst such a gathering just to recollect the achievements of uh, Moksha Gundam Vishweshwaraya who has worked so hard, dedicated his life to the nation and also since there are very many research students and since this university is giving <coughs> lot of emphasis on research and R&D as exhibited by the projects, uh, we have seen a few of them. I also, in my talk, will be talking about the latest uh, development seminal ideas prevalent all over the world for about 10 to 15 minutes. Is that a selected engineers from India went abroad, uh, here I don't know, to purchase some medicine, machines. In one of the places, there was a necessity to climb a 75 feet ladder to see the machine. All the team members, I mean, even though they were intellectuals, they were, uh, I mean, uh, no, I can't do, I can't do. Mrs. Raya climbed up the 75 feet ladder, saw the mission, and then, I mean, uh, did further. So that should be the sort of challenge you people should take, and nothing should prevent you. 
I want to now make some general I mean, comments before I get into the world-renowned research topics. Engineering is a career where creativity and ingenuity knows no limit, no boundaries. Please note, science is exploring what is a fact and the general understanding of the thing. But engineering science is the one that makes things, that makes things, converting the science into applied science and make I mean, things to the public. There are job opportunities everywhere related to your own discipline, companies, academic institutions, government organizations, research organizations, state and central government organizations. Everywhere, what is important is quality, the main point. What are you? What is your strength? In which area you will be able to work? All that is important. I didn't get a job, etc. is different from ask yourself, what are you capable of? What is that you know? Technical competence is one, and effective communication. I know that is not enough. I must be able to communicate and transfer the knowledge. Only through communication skill, <coughs> you can transfer the knowledge. So that is very important. They will tell you while working in hand, because you know the statement, if you use your hands, you will learn much better than when you only listen. If you write, it is 10 times reading. All these things which our forefathers have told, they are very important, practical, and you must remember in your life forever. Engineering has certainly enhanced our I mean, standard of living. Household appliances to high performing materials and planetary, interplanetary missions. They are all engineering efforts. Science plus applied science is the engineering. Completing a degree course is only one step out of the so much knowledge what you are taught in the four-year class is only a small part. It will enable you with that knowledge plus your effort to solve many problems. It is a lifelong learning process. Please note that I am an electric engineer. I know, I mean, uh, electrical circuits, etc. So don't think that you stand alone, you are subject, nobody is borrowing, no. The future is coming, you know, you also know what is today is not, uh, I mean, see, this uh, mobile which I had five years back is not today's mobile. It has more capabilities. Like that, in every field, in every country, the, there are innovations uh, happening. Sand batteries, yes, and the sand batteries, what we are trying to say is, you are trying to store the energy of heat in that sand box or sand batteries we call it. Geno trans transplantation. Insert the heart of a pig into your human field and it is a, you may think it is a bad idea, but geno plantation, the procedure for transplanting, implementing, infusing into the human's heart, a pig's heart. This has successfully happened twice. Artificial intelligence for image generation. If I just tell to the machine, I want some pictures of uh, this sort of audience, I, ta, 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 it will generate. Artificial intelligence for image generation. Brain reading robots. Of course, you must have also heard since long, when I'm weeping, if I take a MRI, what sort of signals are emitted? Functional MRI. Thanks to the machine learning algorithm, a robot arm and brain computer interface. Robot arm and brain computer related to the lower. 
So the robot is the mechanical thing, execution, and the brain robot will be able to pick up the brain signals and transform. 3D printing of bones, your bones, they can be 3D printed. Please note, it is not just a mass of uh, some, uh, I mean, uh, phosphate, I mean, a tricalcium phosphate. There are also pores which allow, just like a normal bone, in your bone, it is not just a solid mass. There are nerves that are going and the cell penetration, so many things happen. Same function is also done. Is it not great? Realistic holography. Holography which you see <coughs> is done at enormous cost. But by superimposing many of them, clothes that can wear, wearable technology is also known since a long time. But involving clothes, I mean uh, ears, clothes that can hear, that means they will be able to know even this yours. I am wearing a shirt. But I mean, uh, it can pick up small signals and then you know, it can I mean, work. Like that you can see there are very many I mean, uh, technologies. The purpose, lastly I wanted to tell is that whatever work you do, you must know what you are doing, why you are doing, how can you do, is it the only way, what is the other, I mean, in the world, what is the technology, how I can improve, then you can prosper. Wish you all the best. Thank you. Engineers today, if you look at it, are having everything going in the right direction. If you see all the students that are being passed out here, passed out of uh, our institutes here, that's where they are getting placed not in one company or two companies, most of them are getting placed in, uh, some of them are come, getting placed in three companies as well. So whoever is getting into engineering and doing very well with their education are going out with their uh, uh, placements uh, very much in their kitty. Even the ones who want to have some creative ideas, placements wise, yes, the college will present. Uh, if you're going overseas, yes, you can uh, write your IELTS or uh, uh, some other exams that can go overseas, but if you have some creative ideas in your head, if you want to do some startups or something, I, I think this is the best time that uh, uh, in this country that you can start, you can do startups and have that uh, ideas put in, put in place and make sure that ideas actually talk. Because you've seen in the last uh, uh, couple of years, even during COVID and everything, if you've seen almost more than 100 startups with a billion dollar valuation have come up in this country. For that, one suggestion I can give you with respect to the students that are in their second, second year or third year of engineering is, make sure that you at least publish one paper by the time you finish your fourth year. That is a minimum requirement. I know there's no compulsion that uh, you have to publish, but make sure that you publish. So it carries a lot of weight. When you're a student, if you publish a paper, it carries a lot of weight. Second thing, there, is a, uh, there are uh, projects that are expected to be done by you in the fourth year. Make sure that you take a serious project which will actually impact something outside, uh, something in the society and make sure that a group of people will work with a group of students along uh, in your class or in other branches or something will work with you on that project so that you can build that ecosystem, build that uh, in a band of friends who you can work together even after you pass out. So these are the two suggestions for you when, um, when you are in the second year, third year. Once again, uh, I wish you a happy Engineers Day and I, I also thank Dikshit Ligaru for spending, taking out his time at this uh, uh, age to come all the way here and spend, spend quality time with us. Thank you very much, sir.